Damn, girl, you fine. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Guardians of the Galaxy 5 pack set. If you're trying to order this set, you can do so at Big Bad. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I'm very stoked that Hasbro has made this comic version of the Guardians of the Galaxy. This is going to be really cool, and I really like the artwork for this packaging over here. This is really nice. And the cover is held together with Velcro. And you can see right there, you get the five characters, and there's the five figures right there. Then on the side, you can see Groot, Gamora, Star-Lord, Drax, and Rocket. And then on the back, you can see all five of them right over there. And then there's Marvel Legends right up at the top, and not much at the bottom. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Rocket Raccoon and Groot out of the packaging. Both of these figures have the same body mold with another figure. Of course, this is the same body mold we'd gotten from the movie Groot. And then that Rocket Raccoon body mold is the same exact thing we'd gotten from the Build-A-Figure Rocket a couple years back. But we do get new head sculpts for both of these. And we do get some really nice paint jobs, especially like the new paint job on the Groot figure. And we get some added accessories for Rocket, which was sorely needed, has been sorely needed for a long time. So I'm very happy about the accessories that come with these. So these are the remaining accessories from the box set of course you could assign them to whichever character you want but I'm saying these guns right here are for rocket and I guess this is a Groot accessory and then this is for rocket again this is the baby Groot that we had gotten before with the Marvel Universe pack of the Guardians of the Galaxy so it's the same thing you can see we get a tanned pot right there as opposed to this more brown colored one then you get some green right there on his back damn that really looks like a skull right straight up skull I like how they painted this one though. Then we get this gun with this rocket and bayonet attached to it. Same exact gun that we get with the regular rocket figure. No difference here. Then we get this repainted destroyer gun. Instead of orange and yellow over here, we're just getting a light colored blue, which I really like. I think this is great for rocket to hold. I really like this one a lot. I like the two handles over here. The sculpt on this remains very cool. I do like the silver plastic that they chose for this. Then lastly, we get this gun over here, which I'm not familiar with. I think this is a brand new gun. Probably not, so if you know what figure this is from, please let me know in the comments below. But I'm really liking the paint on here. I like that baby blue color that we get right here at the top. Same thing right there for the front of it. So yeah, nice plastic choice again, nice paint. Then seeing Rocket wielding these two weapons just looks badass. This is what I like, man. I think that is very, very cool. I'm very pleased with this. That looks great. I like the extra fur sculpted around here at the bottom and towards the top. He's got these new bigger ears. You get some extra fur around here. Very nice sculpt on this. And the paint came out pretty good too. There are some parts right there where it looks like a little bit of white paint is missing, but that's just a very minor detail. It looks like he's growling. I think that's very cool right there with that sculpt. Nice paint apps right here in the front of the figure. Nice red eyes. So I really like the paint on this. I think it looks really good. The rest of the figures painted out pretty well. You get some added silver paint right here for these little button pieces, and you get that silver buckle right there. Nice red color right there for the plastic on the arms. So, you know, it's the slider color blue. Uh, compared to the Build-A-Figure Rocket, you can see the difference right there. So we're getting the same color differences than we had with the Star-Lords, you know, again, with the brown belt over here, black belt over there, same thing like Star-Lord. And then the tail is painted completely differently. You can see the difference between these two. So we get three colors over here instead of just the two. I think it looks all right. Now for articulation, you can move the head up only a little bit until it pops off so that's still there so it doesn't really look up much at all it does look down a bit side to side movement and you get some pivot no jaw articulation arms move outward they move forward bends at the elbow rotates at the elbow we also get a swivel at the forearm and he has a waist swivel over here and then the tails on a ball joint and you can move that all the way around and in and out and it pops off easily too so this little guy only stands at about three inches tall so here's our new rocket raccoon compared to the original marvel legends build a figure rocket and then we have the marvel unlimited subscription rocket which is a repaint white gloves instead of red over there then we have our movie Rocket Raccoon over here. Out of these four, which one do you like the most? So we get this brand new head sculpt for Comic Groot and I really like it a lot. This Comic Groot is actually my second favorite figure from this box set. I'm very pleased to have this. I think this bigger head matches the body very well. A lot better than the movie version. I don't think the movie version is a bad figure at all, but I do like this one more. I like the color brown that they chose for this figure overall. I love all the sculpted detail right here in this brand new head sculpt, by the way. 
And I do like that we get this black wash mixed in with those creases over there. I just think this looks very, very awesome. Very pleased with this one. Two good group figures in the span of like one week. Can't get over that Hot Toys group. But I digest. Looking at this other side of the figure, looks just awesome again, man. Very, very pleased with this. And I like that gold paint for his eyes. I like how the mouth is sculpted. And I like how we get black painted right in there. Just looks really good. Now, there's a couple different versions of Comic Groot. There's this one where he's wearing the full costume like Rocket and Star-Lord. I'm not a huge fan of that, even though I wouldn't have complained. I still like this one more. Then there's this other thing going on where he has these glowing discs, and I don't know what that's about. If you're familiar with that, you know where that came from. Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, looking at this figure again, I like the paint detail throughout on this. I just really dig the color choices. It's mostly just the dark brown with that black seeping through those creases, and it's like that throughout the whole thing. I mean, comparing it to the Vin Diesel one over here, you can see that there's just a lot more paint detail on this guy right here compared to this one. I don't know. It just seems like there's more anyway. I guess like the light tan that they added on this doesn't come through as well. But I just really like how this looks. I just think it's just a much cooler looking Groot. I like it. Just feels a lot more like an adult collectible figure. And they did paint the whole thing on this figure. Even that joint right there behind the knee. The whole figure got the paint treatment and I like that a lot. So that makes me very happy. Very good looking Groot. So just like the movie version of Groot, we get some good articulation on this figure. Unfortunately, he doesn't really look up, which actually isn't that unfortunate because he's a larger figure. You know, it's more important that he looks down, which he does. You can rotate the head side to side over here and he does have a neck pivot. You can get the shoulders moving outward pretty far. You can move them forward. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He has a wrist swivel and the hinge up and down. You get this really loud diaphragm joint over here that crunches, or that rotates side to side, it makes the noise, wow, yeah, see, that's very, very loud, woo, and the movie version does not make that sound, just, if you want to hear that, you know what I mean, yeah, we've got a bunch of dancing groots all over the place over here, woo, damn, anyway, he does crunch forward though, and he does move back, he has hips that move outward that far, they can't kick forward unless you rotate, so you got to rotate this around and then move it forward, and then if you want him kicking or stepping forward, you have to rotate this knee joint and then bend that, it goes at about 90 degrees, then he has ankles that move down, they move up, and he does have ankle pivot, and he still has the peg holes at the bottom of the feet, even paint detail at the bottom of the feet, Hasbro, good job, now this Groot figure stands very tall, it's just under 10 inches, and then here's Comic Groot next to Movie Groot over there, you can see how much scarier the comic version looks compared to the Vin Diesel one and I really like this color just so much more than this one I do like the added green paint on this movie version but overall I mean this is just a much better Groot figure very happy they made this figure and then here's all five figures from this set standing side by side so I gotta say Gamora is my number one favorite then Groot then Drax, and then it's somewhere, be I'd probably Rocket and then Star-Lord, because Star-Lord had the least amount of new treatment to him. But yeah, I'm very happy with this box set. And then here's Rocket and Groot next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oh, I remember you. You're nice. Whee! So I think Hasbro did a good job with both of these figures. I like that Rocket comes with all these weapons, and he holds all these weapons very well. And then the Groot is just badass. Man, I just love the paint job and love the new head sculpt. And I hope you guys loved my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shirt in your face. Also, check out my Patreon account. Your help is much appreciated. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Look up only a very small damn.